what has changed for Faf Duplessis, the batsman, the last two seasons that he played for CSK and this season for RCB? And what has changed for Mohammad Siraj till last year and what's happening now? Let's find out. Faf Duplessis, the captain for RCB. Well, one thing which I can call out is a role definition. What was his role defined when he was playing as an opener for CSK in the last couple of seasons and his role as an opener as a captain of RCB. You will see in this upcoming graph that his overall scoring rate this season so far and last two seasons for CSK has not been too dissimilar. 132 and 139 overall but the key thing to note here is his scoring rate in the power play now if you see he was scoring at a healthy eight runs and over that strike rate for csk in the last two seasons 2020 and 2021 but for this season for rcb you see a big dip in his scoring rate in the power play and one major reason why that's happened is because the number of wickets that they have lost up front. So in most cases, he has to play an anchor role, slow, slow down his scoring rate during the power play and then accelerate later on. That was one of his formula in one of the recent games uh, which RCB played and won. Mohammad Siraj has been a success story with RCB over the years. Particularly last season was one of a very, very successful season for him. Now in this upcoming visual, you will see that till last season, from the time he started to play to, for RCB, he has picked up 50% of his wickets towards the end overs or the slog overs. This is till last year. Now, as far as this season is concerned, one very striking feature is, even though he picked up 50% of the wickets in the previous years, his economy rate was under 10 runs and over, which is staggering. Let me repeat, under 10 runs and over, which is a very, very commendable performance. This year, in that same phase, he is going at 16 runs and over. And in this upcoming visual, what you will see that not only has his economy rate shot up during this period, his boundary conceding it has also dramatically gone up. Previously, it used to be just solitary one boundary and over, and now it's virtually two boundaries and over, and conceding 16 runs in that ending stage or crucial stage. So that's been a very big difference for Mohammad Siraj, both from a wicket taking as well as from an econo economy perspective for him in the season so far. So the point to note here is, will he change this? Do we see this changing in the back end of this year's IPL? Thanks a lot for watching. For more, please subscribe to Mervyn's Quick Bye-bye.